Hey guys, this is a walk around the all new Volkswagen Polo. I'm sorry for the background noise, reason being because this dealership is right next to a main road, so I do apologize. Anyhow, towards the front, you've got some halogen headlights. You also get some really nice chrome that goes inside the headlight there. It's also partly blacked out, it's actually a nice touch. This makes it look a little more premium. Also like the pattern how it's kind of it's all black here and then they kind of got the sort of the sort of like pattern they have on the side there. It's actually a pretty nice touch, but hard to see on this angle. To show you on the tail light the pointer. It's actually a pretty nice styling detail they've got there. It's a bit hard because of the angle, but front end. Got some more chrome. Some matte black finish. Daytime, daytime rain lights. This car has a fuel consumption of 4.8 litres per 100 kilometres. It's also a 70 kilowatt motor, TSI manual. Urban 6.0, extra urban 4.1. Show you these ones, they probably look a bit more cleaner. Your wheels, steel wheels with plastic hubcaps. They are 15 inch wheels and the tyres are Falcon Sin. Sin. What? Sinara. Sinara SN832A tyres. Eco Run tyres and they're made in Thailand. That's a good rubber. Nice. Show you the rear with the new polo. Tail lights look quite nice. The design looks really cool. Quite like the pattern that they have. You can see on the sides here. Bit hard because of the reflection, I might just show you on the angle. Let's print the reflection. A little portion of the bumper. It's got a train going past. Polo. Manual toll gate, third braking light. It's your boot. It's all carpeted here. Got a little bit of interior illumination. If I pull this up, you've got a space saver. Oh, actually, it's a full size tire. Full size steel tire, which is actually really great. How awesome is that? Oh, that's awesome. And you got um and you got your obviously your toolkit, jack, all that, in case you want to change your tire when it gets flat. Here you got seats that do fall down. Pull this top here, a red part pops up, comes down. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. And toggle there, and that comes down. And you actually can see the seats are flat, which is quite good. Train going past. See? Very nice. Nice and flat makes it easier to slide large items across. Four hooks. Did you mention manual? Tall goes. Very solid feeling as well. Show you the interior of the new Volkswagen Polo. It's actually quite a lot of room in here, which is actually quite nice. Feels a lot bigger inside than I expected actually, which is quite interesting. Let's put the seat back. Here's the interior. 
Towards the front, you've got pretty standard analog gauges. So you've got a rev count to the left, temperature gauge, and the right, you've got your fuel gauge and your and your speedometer. And you've got a little LCD display cluster. Oh, this car has done 617 kilometers. It's actually quite a nice font they've done there. And you can see, you see the actual where they've normally they have like a little ring that surrounds the gauge. They actually haven't done that here, which is actually quite interesting. And you can see that the actual gauge is slightly raised on the edge there. And you can see just around here. So it's pretty cool detail, but it looks really nice. I like that. Leather wrap steering wheel. And this is the base model, and you get leather wrap steering wheel, which is actually really nice. That's a really nice feature. So, see here you got some black stitching. Oh here, good bolstering. Feels very nice, solid. You got some painted black trim all around here. Also have a flat button steering wheel, oh, making it more sporty. And you got your headlight and indicator control to the left. You can see, the quality feels quite nice, very solid. And for those who don't, who are new to my channel, I do that purposely to show you the quality. And you got your wipe controls to the right. Soft touch rubber on the dash. Got a bit of hard plastics here. Got a bit of firm sort of carpet um cloth armrest here. You can see the padding. The switches feel very solid. Got some good storage here. There's no um carpeting or anything like that, but you can see. Plenty of storage for my drink here, it's really oversized. It's a really weird bottle, it's an 800 milliliter bottle, the way it's shaped, so it's obviously not going to fit here. It's, so it's not a very good example, but it's good for coffee cups, but you've got plenty of space here, so you really can't complain. Some more gloss black trim here. It's a bit hard with the lighting, so I do apologise, but... Also some flush buttons here. Welcome to Volkswagen. So go to the radio, touch buttons, light up. So you can see the quality of the radio is quite good. I'm actually might make it make it sound a bit better. Add some more bass. A bit more bass. Go back to the radio. So. This one's bassy. That's a pretty bass song. Wait till that main bit comes out. You can play it multiple. So you can see the bass is really good and lots of clarity. So I like how the stations are actually all, they have all their little names and they're all colored and fonts and it's very responsive. Media, radio, all that, phone, voice control, app. You can connect Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, which is really handy. No need for navigation, so it makes it really great. If you got your, with your smartphone, you can integrate whatever's on your smartphone on the screen. That's also a nice feature. So very nice, all the buttons feel very solid and all that. Got this matte grey finish. Gunmetal grey. Non-padded glove box. Coin holder. Got some rubber here. It's good for your wallets. Two USB ports. Manual transmission, five speed. And break this up, yep. You can see it feels very good.
leather. Is this a vinyl? I think that's leather. I think that's. I think that might be vinyl. I'm not too sure. Um, vinyl or? I'll say I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with vinyl. So you got vinyl shift boot, and you got some black stitching here. The handbrake is quite nice. Touch they've done here. So they've got a leather handbrake with some black stitching, which is actually really nice. And you got some aluminium here. No armrest, that, I don't know if that's an option, so, and you've got another sort of storage place here, which is a cup holder you could use, storage for your keys, if you, own oh, whatever, and you've got a 12 volt power outlet here, cloth seats, good bolstering, you can see they're quite sturdy too. You can see the pattern of the seats as well. It's a firm saw cloth. A little soft touch in here too. The vents feel quite solid too. And the switches feel very solid. Has a bit of resistance. Switches for your aircon, hot, cold, fan speeds. I like quite the design here, so it's actually got a bit of um, it's sort of quite firm, sort of metal here. I quite like that. Very easy to turn. Very nice. Seems mm. to fall down, I think I already mentioned that. So you don't have any any pockets here. You don't have a center center armrest there. There's plenty of room. It's actually quite a lot of room in fact for a really small car. Good headroom. New room's good. Same as the front seat, you can see, same pattern, very nice, good bolstering. You also have Isofix as well, which is great when you've got small seats. Cup holder there, and you've got some storage here that can fit your drink nicely. You could probably fit a small carton as well. Hard door cards. Show you the dashboard from the rear seat. Let's do that, see if that helps. The color balance. It's quite sunny today, so. Got a large transmission tunnel, but there's still plenty of space to keep your feet. The way it's shaped over here, you can see the sort of curve, so you got you can just snug your feet here and it doesn't actually obstruct rear passengers, so the other two passengers on the side. This does actually have quite a little bit of bulge here, but I just believe that's because the speakers because the sound quality is pretty good, so probably has a lot packing a lot of um the wattage is pretty good. Also, um maybe it gives them more space. You go for the um Beats upgrade so gives them more room for the bigger speaker, so probably that's why it's a little bit more bigger. So, but the stock, the speakers that come in the car, as you can see, are really good. So, imagine how good the Beats one would be. So, yep, yeah. show you the engine. Okay. 
show you the dashboard from here again. Let's pop this up. Manual seats as well. The new Polo is actually made in Spain. Correct. Just give me one second. There you go. Show you the engine. This is the engine. Of the new Polo. TSI. Lift this three cylinder engine. I'll double check. I'll leave the description below with the correct numbers and everything. So it produces 70 kilowatts of power. Dot four. So I've got a bit more time so I can actually spend a bit more time on the um showing you the engine because sometimes it cuts out at 90 minutes, that's why I rush at the end with this camera. Some storage there too. If you would, let's say you're working on the car, you got some place to keep your bolts and nuts and whatnot, which is great. Mim 95 Octane. It's awesome. Well, that's my little walk around on the all new Volkswagen Polo. Um, this car is for sale at Beachside Volkswagen. I'll leave the details in the description below. I'm again sorry for the mistakes in the video and obviously the background noise. It's right next to a train station, so a little bit noisy. But I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.